ZK TV presents the launch of the E-Type, their sensational new British motor car which has taken the world by storm. Jaguar has created a really stunning vehicle, able to take the driver from north all the way up to 150 miles per hour. The British brand is also determined to take the racing world by storm with their sterling new machine. Built and produced by Jaguar in 1961, the first year of the E-Type, this flat floor 3.8 Roadster was delivered to Max Hoffman, the US importer, in November 1961. The car's original specification was calm and red over a black interior and of course was left-hand drive. The car lived a charmed life stateside until it found its way back to the UK in around 2011. A very solid and original car. DK decided to embark on a nut and bolt restoration to homologation 34, like the ZP cars that were specified new to the likes of Coombs and Sopwith. At the time, before the Kinrara Trophy, the car was built to be as versatile as possible. A car that could do circuit racing, tours and rallies like the Tour Auto and the modern Accenta Ore, but still be usable on the road and sharp enough for concours events and shows. Fortuitously, at the same time, came the rise of the Pre-63 GT series, which includes the prestigious TT at Silverstone. The car's race debut came at the Donington Historic Festival in 2013, where it showed great pace from the off, finishing fourth overall just behind the Ferrari 250 short wheelbase of ex-Formula 1 driver Jackie Oliver. The car has never finished a race outside of the top five. The success and popularity of the Pre-63 GT series led to a special one-off race at Goodwood for the 72nd members meeting. Of course, this car was invited and after a thrilling race, secured another podium finish. Following the success of the race at the members meeting, Goodwood decided to make the Kinrara Trophy a permanent feature of the Goodwood Revival meeting and now becoming quickly the highlight race of the weekend. Kinrara Trophy runner, this E-Type finished second at the 2016 event, pipped again by a 250 short wheelbase. This time the car was driven by nine-time Le Mans winner Tom Christensen. With over a dozen podium finishes and race victories throughout its short career, this is the most successful pre-63 E-Type. Constantly maintained and developed to be kept up to speed with the DK standard, this car represents a fabulous opportunity for the new owner proven competitive and reliable. Remarkably, the car retains its matching numbers motor and will be supplied with its comprehensive history file and of course its valid FIA papers. This E-Type is eligible for a lot of racing in 2020, including the Goodwoods, Pre-63 GT Series, the Equipe Pre-63 Series, as well as the Pre-63 E-Type class in Jaguar Challenge and a host of other events, including 60s Endurance with Peter Auto, and the famous Spa Six Hours in September.